Hey YouTube, what's up? It's KShare22. Today I'll be showing you guys how you can get key and enable on your Windows 10 computer. In the link, you should see a link that looks like this. It's a Mediafire Fire link. Uh, just go ahead and paste that into your web browser. Um, you're going to come to a download. The download is safe, so go ahead and save it. If you get any sort of antivirus warning um, from your Windows Defender, Norton, or whatever it might be, um, you are downloading software that analyzes packets and stuff, so you know it's probably not going to like that. So go ahead and open up that zip file you just downloaded. You're going to see a folder. Go ahead and drag that to your desktop or wherever else you might want it. Um, for this tutorial, I'll just put it on my desktop. Once you open the folder, you're going to notice several files. So let's go ahead and begin with the PDF file. Um, if you don't want to listen to me, you can just follow this PDF. PDF file I've made and it has all the steps that you're going to have to go through to install this. It's really only three steps um, because I already do have working on my computer and installed. Um, I will not be going through this process, um, but I will be explaining it for you guys. So step one, you'll want to do the fix before we actually install Kane Enable. You'll want to install the windcap.exe application and then once you've done that install Kane enable now typically this will work for probably 90 percent of the computers that run this but for some reason it does not always fix the problem so once you have Kane enable installed after you've installed the fix number one you will want to run Kane enable if Kane enable does not start up you'll want to do the fix too okay now, if you happen to do the fix to after, you know, can enable is already installed and working, um, it may cause problems. And if it does, you just have to reinstall fix one and then can enable. Um, again, all that information is in here. Sorry if that is confusing, but pretty much, you know, just like this says, step one, install WinCap. Step two, install can enable. If it is working, do not do step three. If it is working, do step three. Okay. So um, there is that and uh, this alternate batch file, I will go ahead and show you guys what that is uh, for some of you that might feel skeptical about that. So we're going to turn on read a hidden file. So when you click the fix to what that's going to do, it's going to run a batch file. There are two files. Um, I meant to edit. OK, run anyways. This is something I produce, so you guys ain't got nothing to worry about. What it's going to, going to do is it's going to delete the packet DLL file and the WinCap DLL file from your Windows files in your C drive. Then it's going to replace them with two non-corrupted packet and WinCap files. Um, a lot of computers, for some reason, have these two drivers um, installed improperly. So this is going to actually put the correct um, files there for you guys. So instead of copying and pasting and all that, this tool is pretty much just going to do that for you guys and make it a lot more simple. Pretty much that's all that's doing, you guys. And the WinCap, um, pretty much that's going to enable the computer to sniff out the packets and display it for you within Kane Enable. So, um, yeah, that's all for this video, you guys. I hope this uh, works for you guys. And if you guys have any problems, just shoot a comment below. Um, and if you can't get a hold of me in the comments, just go ahead and shoot me an email at kshadow22 at yahoo.com. Um, that is probably the fastest way to get a hold of me. But anyways, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.